Ever wondered why your EMC generator is going so slow like this when you can make it like this? Stay tuned to this video and I will show you how you can get as much EMC in the shortest time possible. How's it going everyone? I'm Luxie and welcome! Today is going to be an updated version of the EMC generator. Because we've managed to get 5 likes I promised that I would make a brand new video. To get started, these are the items that you require. Three random blocks, an energy condenser, the antimatter relay, the energy collector. The key items are the dark matter pedestal as well as the watch of flowing time. So we're gonna start off by placing the random block tree high followed by the energy condenser right on top of it. Next is the antimatter relay. You're gonna surround the condenser as such, or surrounding it and placing it on top as well. Once you have that done, what you're gonna do is take the energy collector and you're gonna place it all around the relays. What this does is actually the relays are collecting all the power obtained from the energy collector and bringing it towards the condenser itself. So all you have to do is just surround it as such and this is how it looks like. So the remaining ones can be placed at the bottom of the relay as well as such. So you can place it like so. The bottom ones will not work as strongly as the top ones because of the sunlight that they've gotten. But because I'm using the MK3, this one is fully powered. But if you were to look at an MK2, it actually receives not 100% of sunlight and the MK1 is as such, it's only half. So for the MK3, sunlight does not matter anymore. You can see that they are practically glowing like glowstones and the sun is still at 100%. Alright, so now that you've gotten the main structure completed, what you can do is destroy your random block that you've placed and then you have access to your energy condenser. Last but not least, we have the key items which is the pedestal as well as the watch of flowing time. So what you can do is place the pedestal around or rather on top of the energy collector as such. And once you do that, Take the watch of flowing time. Remember, this is the most important step. Press V on your keyboard and you will hear a sound and press it once more and the bar will be green in color. Right click on it to put fast forward and then place it on the pedestal. When you have the watch on your pedestal, it is actually not activated yet. You can activate it by pressing right click on the pedestal and you hear sound and there are flames coming out of it. And that means this is working properly. The last thing you're gonna do is take a diamond or whatever you feel like duplicating and take it and place it right over here at the top left beside the bar and boom, you will see how fast each of your diamonds are actually replicating. This is incredible. You can actually use them on different items such as the pedestal, which is one of the key items that you are going to be duplicating. Go ahead and place the pedestal as such and you can see how it's going up pretty slowly but actually extremely quickly because the EMC of the dark matter pedestal is 4.6 million EMC compared to a diamond which is only at 8,000. So you can slowly make as many diamonds dark pedestals as you can and you will have unlimited amount of resources that you can ever imagine. So that is probably it for today guys. I hope you enjoyed the updated version. It's simple, it's quick. If you guys want to see more of this or you want to see a full mod showcase on Project E, do leave a like and comment down in the comment section below. Luxy salute to you guys and I will see you guys again soon.